What's up everybody, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel and today we have with us the Haybike Tyson. This is a 750 watt rear hub with a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery and we are going to install an electric all wheel 20 amp bullet adapter kit for dual battery for this Haybike Tyson. As you probably already know, we're gonna install the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery that we typically recommend and we utilize across all of our installation videos or most if not all. We started utilizing this battery with electric e-bikes and it has worked wonderfully. For demonstration purposes, we're gonna install it on this Haybike Tyson. Just remember, you are not isolated to this battery. You can get any 48 volt battery that you want. Just make sure that you have the ability to connect to the kit. And typically that means get a battery with XT60 connections. We've seen the inside. Uh, we know that the bullet connectors will work and it actually does fit internal to the frame. So we're pretty excited about that. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. YouTube is our primary. And if you're in the Tampa Bay area, join the Facebook group, E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get out there and ride, invite some of your friends and share your bike, show us what you're working with and drum up that conversation for people that wanna do the same thing as you and that's ride your electric bike. Without further ado, here we go. Have the bike halfway open to give as much uh, leeway as I can with this cabling here because it's pretty tight. So those are bullet adapters. And then what you need to do is get the white housing down off of the piece itself. And then make sure these don't cross connect because there may be charge in the controller. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take my kit I have my bullet adapters. I know that one is an adapter for the controller and one is an adapter for a battery. And then the second battery will actually come from the cables. And then I'm going to go ahead and hook up my controller. And for this installation, I'm gonna use electrical tape. I do recommend a heat shrink for permanent. I'm actually gonna be pulling this back out, but for you guys, uh, find yourself the most appropriate permanent um, installation, and that may be some heat shrink wrap. But for this one, I know that it'll be just fine with some electrical tape. Right, and here's my plate. Make sure and hold the end so the bullet adapters don't bend.
Alright. Now on this, I'm going to feed this in because I know that it connects here to this battery input. So I'm going to feed this up through the bottom here. going to go ahead and connect that and then I'm going to connect the other cable to the end of it right there and now I'm going to actually put my balancer down this front side And then I'm gonna run, just kind of get these cables. Fed down in that spacing as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and then this will be the demo test. You know that it's in half, so this battery is not touching the plate, so this will be the source power. And there we go. We do have power and that's coming from this battery. We see our cabling for the second battery. It is loose and out. There is no second battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for factory. Excellent. For this application, this is just demonstration. So I'm just gonna strap it up to the, to the rear rack so that you can see that it works and that's it. All right, there you have it. We do have a dual battery discharge balancer kit on the Hay Bike Tyson. Pretty quick and easy install. Original battery is 15 amp hours. The additional battery is 10 amp hours. So let's go ahead and do the math on that so you know your range. We'll start with the original range based on the mica toll calculation or the mica toll constant, which is 25 watt hours per mile. So the original battery, 15 times 48 equals 720 watt hours divided by 25. 28.8 miles at 20 miles per hour throttle only is the original bike. And now we'll do the addition of the second 10 amp hour battery. 15 plus 10 equals 25 times 48 equals 1200. 
and then 1200 divided by 25 equals 48 miles. So your range has just been extended 20 miles. Generally speaking, it will change with your body weight, height, type, conditions, terrain, everything. So keep that in mind, but throttle only 48 miles, 20 miles per hour, given the mica toll constant for the second battery on the Hay Bike Tyson. We are pretty happy with this install. Nice and easy. Got it in there quick. It all fits internally. One thing we don't like is the side uh, installation of the cabling, but what we do know is that we can actually strap it to the rack and the there is no obstruction other than that. And with the styling of the frame, we're pretty happy with it. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. Check out our Facebook page, electricallwheel.com. We do have an Instagram, threads, TikTok as well. E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, if you're in the area, check out all our other dual battery installations for other brands of e-bikes, most common and most famous being electric. And we will hopefully have a bronze soon. We've done the Mars. And then we'll check out some of the other hay bike lineup as well. If you're interested in e-bikes and you haven't been there already, Facebook groups are your friends. So get onto some Facebook groups and check those out as well. We will talk to you next time.